Okay, so let's get rid of this. And we'll go starting on R1. And we will see what the LFib looks like. And to show the LFib, it's just show MPLS uh, forwarding table. And, you know, our, our network's not that big. So, you know, we can look at the whole LFib and not get lost here. And we can see that for this prefix, our local label is 20, which really nobody gives a damn about. Um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap it with label 18. Um, lost my train of thought for a second there, sorry. Uh, what I was going to say is that in, in um, you know, a production network or, you know, even a larger network than this, once you get up in, you know, 20 to, you know, 300,000 routes, you're probably going to want to specify what route you're looking for when you're doing an LFib lookup. And you could do that by just doing your show MPLS forwarding table, and then you're going to specify the uh, destination prefix. In this case, it's going to be the quad fours. And again, question mark comes in real handy here. It has that odd, you know, space, and then put in the bit mask, and it's 32. I think that's it. We could put detail. You know, I'll do that just to show you the difference. There's there's your basic. So it's it's really just taking that. Uh, that table and just giving you the specific information for the 4.4.4.4 slash 32 uh, destination prefix and same information you know go ahead and swap it with uh, tag 18 and send that sucker out 00 slash 0 and if you do the detail keyword it gives you a little bit more information here uh, let's create some space and do that again there you go so it gives the same information but it shows you the uh, some additional information it shows you your um, your tag here. Your tag stack is 18. Uh, shows you this is actually the MAC address, and since it's a serial interface, it's going to be a little goofy. If this was Ethernet; would it give us something more interesting? It would give us the uh, source and destination MAC address, and I believe the Ether type. Um, it also shows you the uh, the Ceph load balancing, but that's all stuff for another day. Basically what we're looking for here is we're just going to go ahead and copy this command and hit each of the hops. So R2, do the same thing. Uh, it's going to come in because we've advertised our local tag is 18 to R1. So if we get something coming in on 18, we're going to swap it, which seems unnecessary. <laughs> but um, swap it for 18. Here's where the fun comes in. So now, remember when we looked at this on, on a notepad, we said that the outgoing uh, label shouldn't be a label at all. It should be popped. So let's go ahead and see if that is the case here. Booyah. Pop tag. So right now, we're on the next to last router on this uh, label switched path. And if we remember, our $15 word for that is pentultimate. So we're on the pentultimate hop router and we're doing a little popping so php pentultimate hop popping straight up in effect here okay now let's pop over to r4 here and what we expect to find is that remember our uh, lookup that uh, we're not going to find this in the uh, lfib so if we do a show mpls forwarding table for that for that specific prefix uh, we shouldn't find anything and we don't. Now we can find this in the routing table, obviously. And as I think we saw earlier, it's directly connected on loopback zero. And um, since this is uh, MPLS, we do have Ceph running. So we can actually do show IP Ceph. 4.4.4.4 and um, that's the detailed information for that. Uh, detail doesn't really show you a whole lot. It's interesting because Ceph will actually show you the local tag and this is covered in another video and it shows that our local tag is at implicit null. If we did a different, um, let's see, let's try the ones. which is kind of interesting because it'll show you the uh, tags imposed. 
gives you a lot more information here but you can see the Ceph table has a local tag and the tag that you're going to pop on there so if we did a uh, show IP yeah, oh, I'm sorry show MPLS forward 1.101 I don't think we need to get more detail than that you can see that what's going on is it's got a local tag of 20 when it sends this traffic out you're going to go ahead and swap that with uh, 19 and we're going to send it out 00 slash 0 to 10.1.34.3 which is R3 um, anywho Ceph has a lot of information in there and um, again that's in a different video so just want to show you that real quick okay but that's basically PHP in operation and uh, as I stated earlier that is the default uh, method of operation for Cisco IOS um, so what we've done is rather than uh, having two lookups have to occur on R4 we've set the pop tag operation for this um, prefix that is this prefix is actually loopback zero of R4 so on the pentultimate or in plain English next to hop router we're going to do the pop operation rather than on R4 which is the last hop router in this particular um, label switch path.